try to be a little bit different. You see, I'm number three, double O three, and I've got a license to thrill. Okay. And finally, the same question to number one. Right, well, funny you should say that, because people say my father looks like Michael Douglas, which is obviously quite perfect for Catherine Zeta-Jones, but I think if you follow your basic instinct this evening and let me entrap you, then it's going to be a fatal attraction. Oh. Oh. Well, he certainly worked on that, didn't he? Well, it's late your mind up time now, Kelly. You're Are so you important. covered in confusion? Definitely. Well, here's Uncle Graham to help you out. So, Kelly, will it be nature-loving number one who hopes his pot of gold will help him entrap you fatally? <laughs> or perhaps he'll pick poetic smoothie number two, the legal eagle who's waiting with apprehension for the perfect verdict. <laughs> or will you choose licentious number three who's hoping to steal your heart away and black book you? <laughs> the decision is yours. It's going to be, love. It's going to have to be number one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but what about the two that you turned down? First of all, you did turn down number two, and that was Ryan from Huddersfield. Come in, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Love to Auntie Carrie. You also turned down number three. That was Mark from West Sussex. Come in, Mark. <laughs> lovely deep voice. Oh, Mark. Did you change this one? Oh, he's, he's lovely, isn't he? Lovely deep voice. And he stands on that one. But here's your blind date for this evening. Excited? Very excited. You should be, yeah. because you chose number one. That was Rob from Hertfordshire. Come in, Rob. <laughs> You're bowled over, aren't you, Rob? Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, what do you think of our Rob? All right, really. <laughs> <laughs> He's tall, isn't he? I wonder where you're going on your Please, blind I'll date. Team. OK, I'll pick. Good on you. Right. Sorry, this is horrible. A trip to the Arctic. Wow. <laughs> wow, that'd be great. Do you like the snow? Oh, top. I don't quite know Do what to say. Do you like the snow? I don't quite know what to say. Oh, oh, well, let's see what you're going to be doing. Oh, God. <laughs> you won't be able to wear that. that no. <laughs> yes, you're off on a cool day to the Arctic, staying in a hotel carved out of ice. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be herding reindeer. Just think of whales. <laughs> and you'll enjoy a dog sled ride along the frozen waterways. Gets better. You'll thaw out later in Wonderland outdoor hot tub, so that's good. That's good. And saunas. And if it all sounds freezing, it says here, let's hope that your love will keep you warm. Oh, but you'll look after it, won't I'll, you? I'll take the best care of it. Of course keep you will. Warm. Ladies and gentlemen, Kelly and Rob. Enjoy the show. <laughs> For her blind date and they went to the beautiful island of Jersey so let's see how they got on what 
devil think of being in Jersey with me? I never thought I would have been in Jersey with you, Gordon. <laughs> Let's <laughs> wait, let's wait! Oh no! Oh, Gordon! Oh, Janet! Oh, Gordon! Oh, Janet! Very good. Very good. <gasps> okay, that's it, good. There's the ground, and you're down. Uh -huh. Right, Gordon, your turn! My turn now. <laughs> that is so high. That's it. Aruka! Aruka! And you're down. Well done. Expertly done. Whenever I think of Jersey, I think of flowers and lovely new Jersey royal potatoes. But at the end of Janet and Gordon's date, was it bouquets all around or just a big sack of spuds? <laughs> Let's find out. When the screen first went back and I saw Gordon, I thought this guy must have a good sense of humour. And I thought it's going to be an experience I'm never going to forget for the rest of my life. When the screen went back and when I first saw Janet standing there, I was just... I was just, oh, I just thought, Dean Dong, hello, Janet, Gordon's in there. Gordon and I went to see kayaking, and um, I took to it pretty well. But every time I looked to see Gordon, he was either banging into my boat, or else he was halfway to France. When I saw Janet in a wetsuit, I thought, woo, <laughs> I'm the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> oh, yes, because she was gorgeous. She looked magnifique. Gordon had told me he was a bit of an expert whenever it came to ad sailing, but he did take longer than what I did coming down. When he did come down, I gave him a big hug and a sisterly kiss for all his efforts. I think he earned it. When he got a chance to do ad sailing, went down to the bottom and Janet was waiting there for me with a big kiss and a hug. Growl. Gordon and I got a chance to taste some oysters and um, he'd never tried them before. But once he started, there was no stopping him at all. And I thought, where is this going to end? In Jersey, we got the chance to eat some oysters. And uh, I'd never even tried them before. But when Janet told me that there was an aphrodisiac, I couldn't <laughs> help myself but stuck my face full of them. And I couldn't help waiting for them to take effect. Gordon <laughs> and I got a chance to go to a nightclub. And um, I've never seen him dance before. When he took to the dance floor, You've got to see it to believe it. He is unique. Me and Janet went to a nightclub one night and uh, I couldn't help showing Janet and the locals a few of my moves. And <laughs> but the highlight of the, of the night has to be when I had to do that slow and romantic dance with Janet. It was beautiful. One of Gordon's nice qualities was the way he complimented me throughout the date. When I remarked on how beautiful Jersey was, he says, it's not as beautiful as you, Janet. And I thought, what a charmer. When it comes to my ideal woman, it has to be Janet because she's got all the qualities in a woman that I need. And when it comes to changing her, I just can't. She's just perfect. Throughout the date, Gordon and I's relationship was more of a brother and sister. It's very difficult to fault Gordon, but there was just no spark there romantically for me. Um, I'm sorry, Gordon. Although there was little romance in Jersey between myself and Janet, I know by a good time. Janet will slowly fall for the garden. Yeah. I have no regrets about the date in Jersey with Gordon. There mightn't have been any romance, but I had such a brilliant time and it was laughter the whole way. My biggest regret in the date was not having a good passionate kiss with Janet. I like most says, good things come to those who wait. <laughs> and believe me, I just can't save to work. People like Gordon don't come across your path very often. He's definitely a one-off. I would hate to lose contact with him, and I hope we remain friends forever. Will Chat and I be seeing each other again? Well, I've invited her to Bradford, and she's invited me over to Belfast. And you bet your boots I'd be over there to see her. Oh Well, Gordon, I think you 
were smitten, weren't you, with our Janet, weren't you? Mm. You did say she was the most beautiful person in the world that you'd ever met. Definitely true. How does that make you feel, sweetheart? Um, what can I say? Um, flattered. Very flattered. Very flattered. Yes. But you all, you, you actually got on ever so well together, didn't you, right from the start? Because you'd never, ever flown before. Never. Honestly. And had you been out of Bradford before? Uh, I've been out of Bradford, <laughs> been, uh, been up on in Scotland and You've all that. You've been to Scotland? Yeah. But you'd never actually flown? Never. What was the flight like for you? Smooth. Uh, um, <laughs> I it was smooth, but at first, as it went off, yeah. I thought, what's going, what's going, what's happening? What? And, you know, I was oh, very nervous, but it went... Okay, yes. it was fine. And did Janet hold your hand on the flight? Oh, she definitely held the hand and it was a tight grip that she had and it was lovely. <laughs> very tight. Now tell us about this, because it was a very sporty date, wasn't it, Janet? Very sporty. And you went off in the car, you went kayaking. Yeah. But you went in the wrong way, didn't uh, you? I went one direction, then the other, and then I thought, uh, where, where am I going to end up? I thought, um, at one stage, I was going to do, um, what they call it, round the world, what, what race? <laughs> Would you say that our Janet was kind of patient with you? Um, very patient, I thought, but in a way I expected more from her. Oh, but, did you? Yeah. Oh, in what way, Gordon? In what way? Um, <laughs> <laughs> the ways where um, I thought there was going to be uh, another leaf to like to make her to make her relationship spark and okay. sort of things, but. Well, what way. did you do to encourage Janet in, in the first place? I mean, um, did you try to woo her at all? I did try to woo with poetry and uh, stuff like that. <laughs> give us a little bit of poetry now. Can you give us a little bit of sample of the poetry? Well, yeah, I can do. OK, then. It goes like this. Um, <laughs> but sorry, I remember it. Janet, Janet, I must say you are simply the perfect star. Oh. And I must miss that lovely, sweet, lovely kiss. And so, Janet, Janet, you make me feel like I want to play the Glockenspiel. <laughs> I really like your poetry. But you did go disco dancing, didn't you, Janet? We did go disco dancing, and um, I have to say, Gordon definitely stopped the crowd. Definitely. You would need to see it to believe it. Definitely. Why well, we? I think we want to see yeah. this to believe it. Okay, then, yeah. Let's have a look at your disco dancing. How did you right. take to the it. floor? Go on, okay, sweetheart. Then. It goes like that. How could you resist those hips swivelling like that? It was very hard, very, very hard to resist it. <laughs> very hard. Now, you have, you have invited her to Bradford. Are you going to go sure. to Bradford? Yeah, I'll oh, go over right. and see him, yeah, of course. He's a good friend to have. Hmm. Might not have been any she's romance. Most well, she's more welcome to stay, you know. Even if there's no room, I'd, I'd sleep on the, on the floor for her. And so she's <laughs> You are a sweetheart. He's, you really are. sweetie. Yeah, are you going to go to Belfast? Because you have been invited to Belfast, haven't yeah. you? Oh, oh I You definitely will. Yeah. Well, certainly after this. Now, if you could have your time all over again in Jersey, would you go about it a, di a different way, for instance? Um, would I you would... have been a bit more forceful with bit our more, A bit more forceful. In what way? <laughs> in what way? Well, in a way, I was like a gentleman. And to be honest, um, I think Janet was wanting me to be more... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what you should have treated her mean to keep her keen. Yeah. That's all really, yeah. I don't think you're that type, though. How would you have gone about that, though? Um, I don't know, really. Uh, <laughs> but you're going to go to Belfast anyway. Oh, definitely. I'm sure you'll fall in love with Belfast. Mm. And I'm sure Belfast will fall in love with you. But for the minute, though, you're just brother and sister. Are you content yeah. with that? I know you're not, Gordon, are you? <laughs> no, I'm just waiting. Just have to wait till the next He's one. He's still comes waiting, Stella. He's yeah. still waiting. Yeah. Well, shall we watch this space? Watch this space, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, I think, I think you're a delightful couple. Not meant for each other, obviously, because, you know, 
You're such a super guy, but not the one for Janet. All right. Well, I hope you meet the girl of your dreams. Ladies and Thank gentlemen, so wish them both well. Janet and Gordon. But join us again next week when we'll see how Chad and Louise and Kelly and Rob enjoyed their dates together. And of course, we'll be arranging some more blind dates. So until then, it's ta -ra for now. ta -ra, everyone! For more information on tonight's dates, see Teletext page 109. On BBC One. <laughs>